if you saw my Cricut Joy unboxing video that I posted a couple of weeks ago, you know that, yes, I got a Cricut Joy and I have spent the past few weeks tooling around with it, practicing, playing around with it, seeing just everything that it can do. And you guys, I am in love with this little guy. There are so many fun projects that I have already been able to make and so many fun ideas that I have in my mind um, that I'll be showing you guys three of them today, but more and more and more will come. It's just unlocked a whole different side of my creativity and what we're able to do with the products that Cricut already has, the wonderful products they already have. So today I'm going to be showing you three different projects that you can create with your Cricut Joy. It's getting hard to not say Cricut Maker. I'm so used to saying that. Um, I have got a DIY canister to label your pantry, your sewing supplies, any non-porous surface. I have got a pocket that I am going to be attaching to a t-shirt so you guys can see what that looks like. And then I've also got the piece de resistance, this super cute handmade dress card that I think would be great if you're sending a little care package to someone of some things that you made. Um, also, maybe for a wedding, I think that the dress card would be super, super cute. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make all three of these projects using your Cricut Joy and the smart materials that were designed to work in conjunction with it. You'll see it all. It's all explained, tutorials, step by step. Don't be afraid. We've got this. All right, the very first thing I'm going to show you how to make is a card. And Cricut has made this incredibly simple and easy. There's no gluing, there's no fussiness. You literally just load your paper, load your um, mat, and it does all the work for you. So we're going to put in card and we are going to pick one of these here. You can see they have a ton to choose from. Everything from teachers to uh, Freedom, USA, Father's Day, Valentine's Day. They had some graduation ones. I'm going to make this little dress card because A, it's very on brand for Inside the Hem to make a dress card. But I also thought that you guys would like it if you wanted to send a sewing gift to somebody. You could put, um, you could send this dress card along with it. I thought that was really sweet. And while that is loading, I'm gonna to talk to you about everything that you need, everything else that you see here. So in order to make um, a card using the Joy, they have developed this card mat, which is really the genius behind how these cards are so easy to make. You also have these little sets of insert cards that come with a variety of pre-scored cards and inserts. So this one has three cards and three different color inserts. This one has four card colors and one insert. And then they all also come with envelopes. So you will have that as well. So you just need to get one of these, pick the colors that you want. I'm gonna do um, a pink card with a like burgundy maroon Maroon insert. So first things first is the card mat itself is just like a standard cutting mat that you're familiar with with Cricut except this one has this like film that is um, like a layered on top of it and it's attached at the top and the bottom and it also has this um, it's like sticky on top. So what you want to do is you want to take your card and insert it into the card mat like so and you're wanting the fold to be all the way against this edge and the top to be lined up with the top exactly if you don't get it lined up you'll just have a crooked cut um, and then once you get it up in there you peel back this film don't forget to do this ask me how i know that <laughs> um, and then you take the card and you press it onto the sticky mat like so so now it's on there and this is what's gonna get fed into your machine. So in Design Space, it already defaults to cutting on the card mat because you can't cut these cards on anything other than the Joy and this card mat. And then it's got the default material size four and a quarter by five and a half. We don't need to mirror it. 
although you could if you wanted to do something really interesting, I guess. It's gonna connect to my Joy via Bluetooth, and it's gonna have me choose my material, which is the insert card cardstock. And then it's gonna have me load this into the machine. So I'm gonna take you over there and show you what that looks like and what the whole cutting process is like. All right, we are over here at my little Cricut station. This is my Joy, and we're gonna run the card into the machine. Once it recognizes that you've got the right dimensions and the right materials. All right, so I've selected Go on the computer. It's talking to the Joy now, and it's gonna start cutting out our card. So the beauty of this card mat is that it's only cutting through the top of your card. What we tucked under that little um, sli sleeve, slit, I don't know what to call it. That is the back of your card and it is not getting cut at the moment, only the top is. And this is the cut that we have just made. So let me show you how this becomes a super cool card. Okay, we are back at the table now and you can see when we peel this away, most, if not all, of the negative space is going to stay sticky on the little mat. And you can use your weeding tool or whatever to pull that off. So now we've got this number where it's just cut through the top and nothing is done to the back at all. Super cool, right? And then just to make that pop, all you do is take your card insert. Again, we chose burgundy and insert it into all the corners like so, and you have a super cute card. Isn't that adorable? There it is on the back. So you could obviously write your own message, but yeah, isn't that super, super sweet? Okay. All right, the next project I wanna show you is how we can embellish some of the garments that we are making. And I think the cutest way to do that using Cricut Joy is with their Smart Iron On. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about this. But if you type in pocket into Design Space, you'll see they have a ton of these really cute pocket designs. Like look how cute this um, octopus one is where it's like coming out of the pocket. Um, and then we have one that's just like an outline, like a faux pocket. Same thing with this one, also a faux pocket just a cute little design there. This one is like an alien coming out. I don't know, there's just a lot of really cute ideas. But what I wanted to do today was a pocket tee, kind of like this. What I want to do though is actually have a working pocket. So I'm going to use the Smart Iron On and I'm going to iron this design onto my fabric and then use that to cut out with seam allowance the pocket size and then attach actually physically attach the pocket to the t so that it becomes like a working t-shirt pocket got it so what makes this super cool is that they have a whole bunch of these product uh, products called smart products so there's like smart vinyl smart iron-on um infusible ink that's smart and really it's just uh sized down for the Cricut Joy so the designs are smaller like the designs on the actual iron-on are smaller and the whoop and the um sheet itself is meant to be fed into the joy machine this is the exact size so i don't even need to use a mat for this at all i just put this in just as it is and it gets zipped into the machine okay so i am going to be making a t-shirt from this gray fabric you may already also have a t-shirt and you want to add a pocket to it um or uh it already has a pocket and you just want to add a design to it you can certainly do that as well but since we are mostly garment sewists here we're gonna make our own t-shirt and then i've got a bunch of this one comes with three different designs we've got kind of this little notch this little florally geometric and then this one as well so you know me, go big or go home. So I kind of want to do this florally one. I think that will be a really cute contrast with the gray of the fabric. So in order to do this, you guys, it's so simple. You literally click make it. It's going to pull this up. This is our, um, this comes up with everything that's not a card like we went through before it lets you choose do we want to do it on a mat or do we want to use the smart materials because if we had an iron-on product 
that wasn't a smart product. We could cut it down and stick it to a Cricut Joy mat. This is the size that goes into the machine. But since we have the smart materials, we're gonna choose without mat. And the material size is gonna be five and a half by, well, this one's by 12, but um, again, because it's just gonna feed it in itself, all it needs to know is that you have at least five and a half inches. We don't need to mirror it, or we might actually, I don't know that on a design like this, you need to worry about mirroring. It will tell us though. So we have the smart iron on. Make sure mirror is turned on, okay. So we need to edit this, turn on mirror, and done. Again, I'm not, it doesn't really matter. I guess for some designs it would, but you just best to get in the habit of doing what it says. <laughs> so it's gonna get fed into the machine, shiny side down. So like this, right side down. So I'm gonna take you over to the machine and show you how this smart material works. It's super simple. Okay, we are here at the machine. It is on, it is ready to go. Our material is right side down and you just put it through and it just detects the material. It's making sure I have at least five and a half inches and now on the computer, it's telling me to click go. So let me go do that. Okay, the computer is talking to the joy and it is cutting out our little pocket design. When I click unload on the computer, it lets go of the paper and you can see we have our little design cut out. Okay, so once we have that done, we need to cut away our design and then we are also gonna need to weed it. Let me make some room for myself here and move the fabric. So I can kind of see that um, the design ends right here. So I am just going to gently cut around that making sure not to cut through those lines. And then the next time I use my um, Joy for this project, I will load it in with this side first and just make sure that the design isn't longer than whatever this little shortest part is. So that's good. And then to weed it, you're just going to, I like to start in the corner and then pull back a little bit. And you can see it is going to Pull back your design, leaving just the pocket. Cute, right? All right, so then now to get this onto our fabric, this is like a lightweight French terry. <clears throat> and I just need to make sure that I iron it on to the fabric with enough space around it to make sure that I can get some seam allowance going and um, I'll be able to, you know, actually sew a legitimate pocket. So I'm gonna be really generous because I don't wanna make any mistakes. <laughs> this is not a one-time shot, but you really don't wanna do it twice. Okay, and then from here, I will take it to my easy press and I will adhere it to the fabric. We're just gonna let this completely cool and then we will peel off the front, the little sticky part, I mean the whatever this is called, and reveal our pocket. So our iron-on is cool to the touch and we are just gonna pull it back gently. No need to rush here. And voila, we have a super cute pocket design. You can totally sew through this, but you can see completely pliable and totally adhere to the fabric. It feels kind of like a rubber is on here. Cool, huh? Okay. All right, and the last project I'm gonna show you is, if you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen this before, but it's a project that I designed on my own. Um, and you can access my designs. I will have a link in the description box, but this is gonna be for my pantry labels. So we are going to customize this 
I've already gotten all of these done, so I am just going to be showing you um, just one of them, but I did want you to see uh, how it's done and how you attach it to the canister. Okay, so we are going to cut out pasta. Again, I am going to be using a Smart Material. This is their Smart Vinyl, and I apologize that I don't have the original container. It looks something like this. It comes in a little box like this, except it just says vinyl instead of all of this other stuff. And the beauty about these vinyl products is like for the common colors, like black and white, they have these rolls that are huge. Like I wanna say it's like 20 feet or something crazy like that. So if you wanted to do a very long project, like a wall decal, for example, um, you could do that with this smart material. But just like it was with the um, iron on material, this just gets fed directly directly into the machine without a mat, which makes it so, so simple. So we are gonna click make it. And just as you guessed, without mat, done. And because we're doing vinyl and it's not iron on, we do not need to mirror it. And again, I'm not gonna trim off anything. I'm just gonna put this in the machine, just all on the roll. So I can click continue. And then I'm gonna choose the smart vinyl. This is permanent and load it into the machine. All right, I've got it in the machine, so I'm gonna collect, I'm gonna select go, and then take you guys over there to show you it's cutting. All right, so you can see here that it cut out our pasta. So I'm just gonna take our scissors and I'm gonna cut away everything else. And then just like with the iron on, I'm gonna take my weeding tool and start at a corner and weed this entire thing. Okay, so now we have our iron or our um, vinyl ready to go. And as you guessed it, they have transfer tape that is sized for the joy as well. So I know I just need I don't even know, a few inches of this, probably down to this line. Try and be economical here, but this um, transfer tape, again, comes on a huge roll, so you can use it, well, I wanna say forever and ever, but it goes by faster than you think. <laughs> All right, you just wanna peel back the backing, like so, and it's really great because it has this grid on it, which isn't so important right now, but when we go to attach it to the canister, you're gonna want those lines. So I'm gonna line up a horizontal line with one of these, this horizontal line here, and a vertical line with my P, with the edge of my P, just so I know it's all completely square. All right, so I like to take the scraper and you wanna get in here really good and adhere the top of your vinyl to your transfer tape. All right, and then once that's done, this should all peel back onto the transfer tape. Usually if you can get the beginning of it going, the rest of, the, the rest of it will fall into place. Yes, okay, now we have liftoff. So we have our pasta ready to be adhered to the um, canister. Okay, here's our canister. I'm gonna just leave the pasta in. And there are those of you that are probably very scientific and you wanna measure and do all kinds of fancy stuff. That's not really my style. <laughs> I just want it to get on there and I want it to be sort of centered and cute. That's all I care about. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. But again, the lines on the transfer tape really, really do help, especially if you're eyeballing because it gives your eye those lines to kind of follow. Oh, oh, there's kind of no turning back once you get it on there. That's not bad. All right, so again, we're gonna smush this on there, get all the bubbles out really give this a good go at this point um, because what you have left is how it will be you know like it's hard to get the bubbles out once you remove the transfer tape so try and get all the bubbles out as best you can maybe more of a perfectionist than me but okay and then we're going to peel back our transfer tape 
Ta-da! Like so! And just like that, we have an adorable little pasta container. Now you guys know I love organizing and you know that my labeling does not stop here. I have used this same process um, for plastic bins I have in my storage closet. You guys will see that uh, soon. I have it for, um, do I still have it in here? My zipper containers, the lids for where I store all my zippers. I have them on there. Anything that's plastic, anything that is, you know, a solid, um, non-porous surface is going to be really great for any of this transfer stuff. Obviously, the Joy is really great if you wanted to do iron-on labels like I did for my Large Notions organization. I posted that video last week. If you want to check that out, um, you can see how, you know, the smaller projects are what is really great for the, for the Cricut Joy because it's a smaller machine. So, I mean, how cool are all of those projects? They really couldn't be more different. I mean, I did that a little bit on purpose, you know, a paper product, a iron-on project, and then a um, vinyl project. I did that a little bit on purpose to show you sort of the breadth of the Cricut Joy, that it's not just, you know, for one thing or another. But I also wanted to show you just how innovative Cricut as a company is. I mean, developing that card mat developing the smart materials. You don't have to cut everything down to that super small size. You just throw it in, no mat, no mat needed. I mean, game changer, really, truly a game changer. It's made using a Cricut so much more fast and easy and intuitive, and it's just been really great. So I hope that these projects inspired you um, and that you wanna check out a getting a Cricut Joy for yourself. It obviously has the lowest price point of all the Cricut machines. So if you don't have a machine and you're thinking about it and you're like, am I really gonna use this? How am I gonna use it? A Joy might be a great entry level way into Cricut. You'll get familiar with design space. You'll get familiar with the cutting process. Obviously, all of your product uh, projects will have to be smaller scale, but once you get the hang of it, then you can upgrade to a maker or an Explore Air at a different time. I'm gonna be doing, oh, in a couple of weeks, a comparison video of all three machines. So again, if you're in the market, if you're thinking about it and you wanna know really what's the difference, stay tuned for that video. But if you want to just get a machine, start playing around with it, the Joy's price point I think makes that really doable. So I have links in the description box for the Cricut, the machine, the smart materials, everything that you would need to create, recreate the projects that I made. Um, I had a lot of fun with this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions at all no question is too small or dumb or has already been asked a million times. Leave your questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.